outside Dinkle and another win for the Cherries. Three points and we move up the table. Two positions, I believe, when I last looked. Dave, what do you think of that? Hey, I've come, I've seen two wins in a row. That's the first time for me that I've seen two, teams, two wins in a row since we've been in the Premier League. It was a crappy game, but it was a cold Tuesday night in Bournemouth and we won. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, it was a good goal by Clive and Semenya was fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I mean, to see two wins, couldn't, couldn't wish for anything more. Makes me happy and uh, let's get a place in Europe, right? <laughs> that European tour. I didn't expect that to come out so soon on this video, that kind of sentiment. But, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, we, we are playing very, very well, aren't we? I mean, it's the sky's the limit, do you think? Yeah, I think, I mean, the first thing we have to do this offseason is get Ariola onto a five-year contract. Yeah. Um, because, the guy, I mean, we were talking about this this afternoon. I actually think that he's going to end up being a better manager than Eddie. And wow. that says a lot. Yeah, it does say a lot. And uh, interesting that the, the starting lineup, the kind of the team that started at the formation, very different to the to the end, really. It's quite, it was. And quite you know, Adams didn't play, right? I mean, yeah. it was, uh, uh, you know, I mean, but you've got to be able to rotate your players. And he does that. And he, he, he seems to know how to get the best out of his players. And, you know, I mean, Neto still gives me heart attacks every time he has the ball. But other than that, it's been a, it's been a good day. I can actually go back and happy if seeing two wins. Up the cheers! Thanks, sir. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. Paul? Hey! Hi. How you doing, buddy? You okay? Yeah, yeah, good. <coughs> I don't know if you know this. There was a bit of, of, of confusion pre-match um, with the team sheet. Yeah. So um, I saw that. Semenya was in, out, in, out. And Check then at half time, yeah, he like shook it all about, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He did the hokey cokey, we and did. we scored a goal. We did. So what's that all about? Well, uh, very good. Yeah. Uh, that that was just I don't know. I think mind games maybe. Right, or, yeah, maybe, yeah. or maybe maybe Semenu said he was ill and was like, actually, I'm not so bad. Or, Had an aspirin or whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just, I think it may be just mind games like Eddie Howe used to do. Yeah, yeah, he's not fit. He's not fit. But then to put it on the team sheet's a bit bit much, isn't it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably going a bit too far. <laughs> uh, some interesting performances out there. There's some big changes um, mm. from the starting 11 that started last game but then by the end of the game we had a more familiar start 11 I just had the same conversation with David really but yeah. um, some of those players who started in that first half what did you think of them how they got on I thought they did alright I mean Billing tried um, yeah. I think they all really did okay we were I was very confused with Lerma playing at sort of left back centre back yeah, 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 yeah. he was so defensive the whole game um, up until the last 10 minutes or so when he went into midfield and I think that that confused our players a little bit as well and we were just, we couldn't break him down. No. We tried everything we could and, and eventually, you know, we got there in the end. But I think it took some Palace changes and some of our changes to open, to, up, to open it up. Yeah. yeah. No, I completely agree with you. Um, no, should we get you in as well? Yeah. yeah. No, now I heard that you got a high five, is that right? Yep. Yeah, Who did you get a high five from? Dom and my dad's got it on video. Has he really? We can have a look at that later, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll post it. Send it over. Uh, that's amazing, man. What do you think of the game today? Uh, it was good. And that Henderson save from the billing header oh. is amazing. Yeah, I thought that was going to go in. Same. We had a couple of chances like that, didn't we? Yeah. In Kind of in that period of the game. And I, I, yeah, really, really good. Who's your man of the match today? Billing. Billing. Good. Fair play to you, buddy. All the best. <coughs> good. Nice one. Uh, yeah, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. How are you doing? Right, I'm good, you? Yeah, good. Like your top, mate. That's cool. Um, what did you think of the game today? Uh, we weren't too great, to be honest, but you take them wins, don't you? You, you take do them indeed. wins. Do you think the weather played a part? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Horrible today, horrible. Yeah, it does, does make it a little bit harder, absolutely. Mm. Um, the game didn't really uh, get it's difficult to get going, but I thought the referee did all right, did you think? Yeah, he, he did quite well, to be honest. Kept it moving? Yeah, yeah. kept it under control. Uh, where were you sat today, which stand? Uh, behind the... Uh, uh, in the Steve Fletcher stand behind the goal so. right so Sam was sat next to me and he felt that maybe the, the penalty that they didn't get might have been a penalty what, did, did you get a look at that at all uh, what is that one with Smithy yeah yeah I think it was yeah, yeah I think it was yeah so we've been oh. lucky I think we have been lucky yeah very lucky yeah. Um, who did you think played well today Zabani he's, he's it's wall, so good it? so good yeah um, I think Kirk has looked good when he came on. Yeah. Smithy as well. Always puts in the shift. Oh, wasn't he great? I thought yeah. he was great today. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. 
honestly. Not in minutes he's had and he's he's proved himself. Yeah. And he's proved everyone. He's the most underrated player in our squad. I think people sort of talk about, you know, he's getting on a bit and, and whatnot, but I think he might be the fittest player in our in our team. I mean he never stops all game, does he? Yeah, he's like James Milner, isn't he? <laughs> he is a little bit, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Who's your man of the match today, Ethan? Yeah, it's a Barney. It's a Barney. You know I mean? Absolutely, brilliant. Thank you very much. Up the cherry. Up the cherries. Hey, what are you another, doing? another win. Another win. Too did, easy. Did you expect that? Yes. Did you? When, well, when they put their lineup out, I know we made five changes, but without Elise, Decore, Gahey, Richards, yeah. Johnston, they're, miss, they're missing key players. So I thought, why not? Because we've got squad depth where you can drop players and and they're like for like changes. It's not like yeah. the squad was really made much weaker today. I mean, I thought Lewis Cook at centre half did, 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 did quite well. Pretty amazing. Um, yeah, Palace were very, very poor. Uh, three shots all game, no real big chances. You can tell without without Eze, there would be nothing really. I thought, you know, Lerma was really nowhere to be seen. I, I yeah. bet, bet he regrets leaving us. I think we're, what, 11 points clear of Crystal Palace? Wow. Maybe even, maybe even might have a game in hand of them. But yeah, I, I, I didn't think we were great again today. But again, good sides win when they don't play well. And that's what we did again. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I think the league table now, we can kind of feel a bit more justified in our position. Yeah. Sometimes, like, I mean, like Everton was saying, oh, if you can't beat the teams in and around us, actually, if you look at the points, they were nowhere near us. Yeah. Uh, and similarly, Palace today, but there does seem to be that gap now. It does feel like we are the, the kind of uh, bottom of that, you know, middle bit. Well, why can't we be looking upwards? Why can't yeah. we be looking for Europe? I mean, if if eighth spot gets in the Europa Conference League which is very very possible yeah. with, three, with three points off it I'm just saying beat Luton on Saturday and anything could happen so wow. get, get your passports out get ready because little old AFC Bournemouth from a seaside town we're coming for Europe why not <laughs> good to see you buddy cool. all the best Hey, bud, how are you doing? Good. Very good. Now, oh, I can't get me... Now, that's such a crazy game, wasn't it? Like, it, yeah, it felt it so one. tricky. Mm. Um, and, and such a different starting line-up to the, the, the yeah. one that ended. And, and, oh, just... Yeah. We've definitely using the amount of games and the fact we're in a comfy position to rotate and I think you can appreciate that especially when you win the game you go it was a nice thing to do I looked at the lineup and couldn't work out what we were doing no. and I thought a few people said cook at the back I thought surely not it must be Christy but it was, it was. <laughs> I, I guess obviously hindsight's a wonderful thing but I think when Kelly's left back like yeah. he was at start, it allows you to do that because he can slide in and then obviously Dango can quite easily be like a wing back yeah. um, and I thought we looked okay I didn't, I didn't feel too threatened but I didn't think we were great um, and I thought it was a typical 13th v 14th kind of game. And then again, as we've said plenty of times, particularly at home recently, the subs, he, make, he gets them right. I mean, I probably agree with a lot of people thought Tav's done well to stay on here. Yeah. But some of the subs he made, obviously at half time, I think Scott just wasn't having a good game. No, he wasn't. I said that he almost reminded me of, not in a horrible way, because I didn't dislike him, but um, Kilkenny in the championship, where yeah. he's a bit slight, he's clearly good on the ball, but if he don't get it right you can get nudged off it and they're in yeah. uh, we obviously tried in there but it didn't quite work but with the options we have Kelly can come in Lewis can come up it worked really well um, I thought Kelly in the second half him and Zabani at the back were absolutely immense I mean Zabani some of the last ditch defending was incredible uh, he was I'm really glad he got mad at the match something to get yeah. overlooked really pleased for him I thought Christy was Amazing having him back. Bar in 15 minutes. What? Point. Yeah, yeah, get me an answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, I, I thought, oh, yeah, I thought Christie was a menace. I thought Smithy again was, was brilliant uh, right back. I think we say this all the time, he just rolls back the years. Yeah. People forget. I he know, is I so good. Yeah, so good. And then Semenyo, who before the game, we thought he might not make the bench because of an illness, comes on and he makes the goal. And then I was having a, having a bit of a laugh with Hev because I was saying, Billy won't doing too much wrong. But you bring on Cliver and it makes a difference because of that the legs he has. And yeah. suddenly our press on that just seems to fit. And I think he's trying different things in that 10. Because Cliver, he thinks, oh, can I try Scott there? Can I try Bill in there? Yeah. But then when Cliver comes on, I just think the team's balance looks better. Just looks so much better. Uh, really pleased, you know, we'll say it at the weekend. Really pleased for that because he didn't have much to do today. But he, he knee slid when we scored. You can see how much it meant to him. And I think yeah. he will be... Them centre-offs were so good for him today that men, he didn't have to do much. Yeah. But, you know, he's got El Marino in the bag. Exactly. If you haven't Me eaten tonight, El Marino's... They're, they're probably loving it, aren't they? Because, I mean, who's going to get an El Marino now? <laughs> I mean, but anyway, as, as you heard, yeah. bar close to 15 6. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, we're three points off eighth, which is Conference League. Yeah. Could we? Could we. Hi, Jakey. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? You OK? I'm all right. What did you make of that game today? 
It was it was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. It, it was against a team that hasn't won away in six months since 4th of November, but it was it was nice to come away with a nice three points, especially being three points off the Conference League. Um, my man of the match is probably the defence, I think, was really strong today. Yeah. Zabani, Smith and Kelly especially. That, that was that was the yeah. back three. That was that was a solid back three. Some people doubt Kelly in that certain back spot because they think, oh, yeah, he pushed out to left back. But he was really strong. And Zabani and Kelly, last-ditch tackles were immense today. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you all the way, Muddy. That's absolutely. Uh, of the substitutions that that may that were made by Iriola, you made quite a few. Uh, which one do you think kind of impacted the game the most? Kirkes with with his amazing pace was was just unstoppable, really. Because yeah. he 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 runs he runs most of the pitch, and then it he sets us sets us up for an attack. So yeah, Kirk Kirkes was well today. Yeah. I think I think he played really well in that left back. And Neto had quite a good game as well. Kept the ball out, didn't he? Yeah, he needed a game where he didn't make, we didn't need to make too many great saves because you need to break a bit because um, some people dislike him, so he 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 needs he needs to break off mistakes. So yeah, he did. A, I loved the celebration as well at the end. That was that was nice. Yeah, good, fantastic. You got a man of the match for today? Yeah, the the, the defence. Um, Whole defence. Brilliant. Um, I think Adam Smith. He goes under the radar a bit. Not many people rate him. He's he's like Mr. Reliable. Yeah. He's yeah. He's 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 amazing, really. Just just like the whole defence today. Brilliant. Great. Brilliant. Thank you for coming on. All the best. Hey Scott. Hey Jake. Sam. How you doing, buddy? Fine. It's a nice umbrella. Thanks. Good. Uh, what did you think of the game today? Oh, it's another win for us. It is another win. Another win it, for us. Yeah. Back to back victories. Unbelievable, isn't it? How long it, can we keep it going? Well, to the end, though. <laughs> <laughs> to the end of football. To the end of football, though. Yeah, forever. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Who did you like today? Um, all the players, though. Yeah. We deserve a clean sheet. 50% of the Marino. 40, per, 40, 40 points. Set plus. Surpass. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Ollie. Really good. Hello. Hey, Ollie, how are you? Hello. I'm very good yourself. Yeah, really good, thank you. I'm feeling better by every moment as it's kind of sinking in yep. that we've now. Now we're definitely safe, uh, and and people are looking up. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Looking I mean, up. I'm. I'm. It's a smash and grab win, wasn't it? Um, yeah. I mean, some of you eagle-eyed uh, people uh, may have cherry-picked uh, Zabani to be probably uh, one of the best players out there. You know that. Yeah, that's very nice. Very <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I, I think Zabani was probably man of the match. Yeah. Uh, I've got to say for uh, them, I think Lerma, of course, played well. Yeah. When does he not play well? You know. Um, and Henderson. Yeah. I think he made five saves. He was very crucial to keeping it. That uh, tells to one a story of the game that, that, that yeah. people probably don't really appreciate because it was quite mm. scrappy. But he did yeah. make, had to make five good saves, including that that header from Phil Bill. Yeah, I mean that was that was a terrific save. Yeah. Uh, I I I thought that was destined to go in. You know, Billing doesn't. Uh, have many headers despite his uh, very tall physique. Yeah. Uh, but when he does, usually they're good ones. And I tell you what, it, it was a, it was a very very good header. It was just it was just tipped over by him. It was an excellent save. I think Neto also played well. So yeah. I mean, yeah, defenses probably were on top today. Um, yeah, and then uh, Cliver got the goal as well, didn't he? That, that was pretty good. I think Solanke was close as well, but. As I said, Henderson just kept him out. Yeah. Um, we're kind of in that situation now where we're not looking at relegation. We're safe from that. Yeah. You know, maybe we could do a European push, but it's it's unlikely. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're a few point. Uh, we're one point off Wolves now. Very, very close. Very, um, very close indeed. So yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to see the media's reaction if we do um, finish above Wolves. I think we'd all love to see that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Be interested how that goes. Okay, very quickly before you go, uh, a man of the match for today. Oh, that's a difficult one. That's uh -huh. a really difficult one. I'll, I'll probably have to agree with um, uh, Mike and just say um, Zabani. Zabani. He, he, he's been Rolls Royce for so many games now. You, yeah. you can't. Uh, I think he's probably he form wise. Okay, yeah. form wise, he's probably up there at top of the league. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm not going to say ability wise he is, but form wise he definitely is. Um, he played well again today. Play, he played uh, well last game. What more can you ask, honestly? What more can you ask? Thank you so much for coming on. Thank All you. the best. Uh, that's it for us now, I think. 
outside Dean Court. What do you say? Short of vlog tomorrow, yeah, there, there, there wasn't a great deal to talk about in that game. Uh, but we're going to go now, we're going to try and get warm and dry and go and dance with Zabani. With Zabani who loves me. I'm looking down at your light rather than looking at the camera. Bye-bye, up the chase. <laughs>